What is going on everyone? It is your boy FBI here bringing you a little tutorial today on how to use the TTM squeeze indicator, which is this right here. So what is the TTM squeeze indicator? The TTM squeeze indicator measures the relationship between two studies, Bollinger Bands and Keltner's channels. And so what that does is when Bollinger, uh, is when volu uh, volatility increases, so does the distance between the Bollinger Bands. So let's say, here, let me try and add study and just pull this up. There it was. Bollinger Bands. So here are your Bollinger Bands right here. So when the volatility increases, so is the dis distance between the Bollinger Bands. As you see here, here's your volume. And look, pay attention to this number here. Look at the increase in volume as I start going down here. You can see here how the TTM squeeze indicates that as well, as well as the Bollinger Bands that I was just explaining to you, how when volatility increases, uh, the Bollinger Bands, uh, the distance between the bands increases as well. And when volatility declines, you can see here how the Bollinger Bands tend to uh, condense. So that's just to kind of show you a study on how, like a, here, let me just remove that study real quick. Now we don't need that anymore. But yeah, so there's that for you. So that's how that works. And uh, the squeeze indicator finds sections of the Bollinger Band that I just showed you, uh, which fall inside Keltner's channel. When the market finishes a move, the indicator uh, will tell you. So as you see here, we look here, we see here that as volatility is increasing, like the like it mentioned with Bollinger Bands and how it takes that into account, we notice how this gets read here. We see here how it's being way, it's, it's right at support here as well. And so we see that here. We see here how it's reached kind of a peak and starts curving. So we can get our entry point in this level here with the more risks uh, towards it. Or what we could do is we can wait for it to kind of stop here and wait for this blue to pop up, these blue bars to pop up instead, which indicates the uptrend for me. So as you see here, it starts saying it right here. But as you can tell, it's going into downtrend. This is why price action is important. So you can place levels as well. And as you see here, it tells you that, okay, you see here, here's support being caught, as well as the TTM squeeze telling you it's it's uh, starting to make its move up. So your, your ideal entry could be would be right here. Would be right here or right here with a tight stop here, here with a tight stop at support here or below here just a little bit. And so yeah, that's how the TTM squeeze works. We can just keep on going through and I'll show you more examples here. So of course you see here how, especially right here, look at this, it was saying the sky, look at that. The stock, the bars are super high right here and you start seeing the bars decrease here. And as the bars decrease, the stock starts falling until it gets to this area right here where you could have your entry where the resistance is for the drop down, which is right here, as you can see here. And you can start seeing it to start forming a curve back up here where it then jumps up again and then boom, it goes back down. So what happens when it decides to come back? Or what happens when it looks like it's going away and then it decides to come back? Well, that's why price action is key. Like here, let me give you an example here. Let's see here. Yeah, right here. Look at this. So this was last Friday. So we see here how we had this massive downtrend that happened all day, basically. And we see here our TTM squeeze indicator kind of starts decreasing right here, like it was in the past earlier right there, but it starts going downward. So I know as I was explaining earlier, right here would be a good entry point, but this is how you can get faked out as well, because as you see here, as it's going down some, and this is why price action is important as well, because you see a consolidation period happen right here, where it's stuck in between this area. So as I was saying earlier, how if you were trying to enter in this area right here, you can get that possible fake out that of course happens here, where you start seeing it decrease, the bars are going less and less and less, as if you were thinking that it was gonna form into a uh, into blue bars here but uh as you see here it continued to drop it actually increased back up when the volume started picking back up here and as we mentioned with the bollinger bands as you see here the volume is pretty high uh, over a million on that candle right there over three million on that candle right there so if we were to look at this with the bollinger bands as i was saying earlier it would show them far apart i'll show you right now actually let me just do it See, right there, look how far apart the Bollinger Bands are. That's what this takes into account as well. So, yeah, so there's that little tutorial for you guys on how the TTM squeeze works. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and have a great rest of your day.